Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Today is January 3rd, 2020. There was a magnitude 3.2 earthquake um, up by Lincoln, Montana. And the camera is stopping and going, stopping and going. It's uh, currently, I believe, 19 degrees there at Yellowstone. The high today is supposed to be 25. This 3.2 earthquake was felt in Helena, Montana, and between Helena and Bozeman, Montana. The earthquake occurred at about 12.02 Central Daylight Time, which would have been 11.02 p.m. last night there in Lincoln, Montana. It had a depth of about six miles below sea level. Three poor people reported feeling this earthquake. That earthquake does not show up on the monitors there at Yellowstone National Park, but this earthquake here at 1833 Universal Time is not being reported by USGS. It occurred yesterday. I believe that would have been about 11.33 in the afternoon there at the park. A lot of heat came up with this earthquake. Why they didn't report it is a mystery to me. Um, a few minutes after midnight or 6.02 Universal Time this morning, we got another really small um, earthquake. Yeah, harmonic tremors. Look at that. That too is not being reported. 1548 yesterday. Um, another earthquake that's not being reported. Now this is of a small microquake. Anything generally over a magnitude 2.5 is automatically reported by the computer. So these are not being reported. Yeah, like I said, you know, these are significant. That one's significant. This information comes from a borehole at Norris Junction area. And I'll go back up to this other little one if I can. Yeah, again, Norris Junction, which we know um, was the area when it erupted the last time about 630,000 years ago. That was the area that it started. And it did a counterclockwise eruption. And then the two resurgent domes Mallard Creek and the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome both collapse at the same time. Here is the location of that magnitude 3.2 earthquake. And I'll bring it down. Yeah, just outside of the area of uplift. That's what the red lines are. It's areas from 2015 measurement of the uplift of the Yellowstone Supervolcano. And many of you know there's been at least 40 small eruptions since the last major eruption. Example, we got the Craters of the Moon, which uh, Native Americans talk about this eruption. According to NASA, that erupted 2,000 to 15,000 years ago. Yeah, there was flows between those two times. Yeah, the last eruption was about 2,000 years ago. And the oral history of that eruption is carried down, has been carried down by Native Americans. Now this is the monitor for Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake, and we've talked about all the activity that's been showing up there lately, and the melt. They got spreading at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake, a fault line, just like they have at the bottom of the ocean where new earth is being uh, generated. You can see the movement here. Now this again, is from USGS from 2008 and 9, uh, a model of the expansion to explain the ground movement there. And here we have an image of Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, it looks like we got a crack in the ice. And it, you know, this crack goes up by the island over here. See that there in the lake and along there. And I refreshed this image. This image is from 1003 Mountain Time. Um, yeah, it says, no, excuse me. This image is from 810 Mountain Time this morning. Right now, as I make this video, it is currently 824 Mountain Time or 924 Central Daylight Time. A current static image of Old Faithful says here at 823, I'll pull it up right there. And this is what the live camera is showing. Currently, the only way to get into Yellowstone is by snowmobile. 
Three Forks, Montana had a magnitude 1.2 today. Right there. Um, a 1.8. Lincoln, Montana, the 3.2 yesterday. A 1.7. Um, up there by the Madison River Norris Junction area um, down south up at the pull this up Jackson Wyoming had a 0 0.4 yesterday a 0 0.8 by Old Faithful let me bring that in there you go and I have to bring it back out to get up to date here a 0 0.5 Manhattan Montana um, that was yesterday, a 0 0.8 yesterday. Um, wait, why is it doing that? Uh, Lima, Montana. And that's all the reporting for the last two days. 71 earthquakes in the last week, seven days. Going back to the monitor at Grant, yeah, harmonic tremors. There's a lot, look at that. Yeah, a lot of activity. I have to bring this up for you. A lot of activity there. And I talked about that. Look at the heat. You know, this is an area by Grant where there's a weak spot that magma has been trying to break through. You know, kind of like Mount St. Helens when it erupted out the side. The reason it blew out the side was because it was easier than at the top where, you know, it had the cap. Okay, we got an earthquake here, 736. That was yesterday. That would have been a 0 0.8 southeast of Old Faithful, it says. That would have been about 6.9 miles below sea level. By looking at the signature, I would say it was stronger. See how it's marked in red for the scientists to come back in and review it? Mount Sheridan had it as a 1.44 purple mountain had it as a 1.15 a little west thumb there at the lake which is close to Grant is a 1.05 not the 0 0.8 that they claim there's the location they claim um, was the earthquake and I'll pull it out yeah here we got Grant there's the earthquake yeah little west thumb is right here what else we got on here? Yeah, we got a small one there. 547. Yep, magma on the move. Let's go back to the signature of this one. Right there. More recently, yeah, we got one right there. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, not being reported. 2004. Nothing to see. Please move along. And we got some more stuff there, more stuff there. Yeah, look at the heat. Again, uh, Grant near Yellowstone Lake where the spreading's going on. Harmonic tremor there. Uh, let's go look at this one. Another one. And then more recently, yeah, all this activity has been going on. Looks like data was removed there. Yeah, it looks like right here it got so loud that it almost stopped, stopped recording. Yeah, look at that. Pretty active today. Like I said, the only way to get into the park, and all facilities are closed, is by snowmobile. Okay, Hedgebin Lake, uh, Hebin Lake, however you want to pronounce it, there's that earthquake. How could they not report that? Yeah, look at the heat. Um, this is also another area that's been showing a lot of activity. The uplift is causing uh, the lake to drain out in a new location. Let's see what we got here when I pulled the files. Yeah, see the heat down there? Harmonic tremors. And we know we got spreading of the magma through the system going north and east i talked about that in my last video yeah there's just so much activity here it's hard to find it all which would be significant yeah but that's the most significant earthquake and yeah they did not report that so i expect more earthquakes as the uplift continues there at yellowstone lake because of the spreading of the magma 
So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.